guys, can you believe there's only five days left until Christmas? Today is Vlogmas Day 20, December 20th, and I can't believe it. It's crazy. When I saw the date on my watch today, I was like, what the heck, where has time gone? Even though I knew yesterday was six days away. I don't know. It's like it still creeps up on you. Here we go, mini time. Today's mini is a beautiful tonal red. Feels very um, plump. This is by Diabolical. So I will work on getting that in my blanket. Uh, but before that, I have a question for you guys. So last night I was talking to my sister in law. And I was supposed to have made Baxter a crochet blanket. That just never happened. I started it and I just haven't been crocheting. But honestly, it hurts my wrists and I just haven't been into it. But I have been wanting to make a Bits and Bobs blanket ever since I saw the pattern come out. And if you haven't seen that pattern, it's by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. And it's written for fingering weight held double. And it mimics a brioche stitch. At least it looks like it to me. And it's very very easy, um, but I want to do it in worsted DK. I have a bunch of um, worsted and DK weight yarn already. It's acrylic, just so you know, um, but it's for my four-year-old nephew. So I did a swatch last night. Um, stayed up way too late doing the swatch, by the way, but you know how it is when you just like get this project and you just want to work on it. In fact, it was hard to go to bed when I did. And I'm definitely feeling it now. Anyway, um, the bottom portion here is knit on a US 13. This next portion is on a US 11. And the very top is on a US 9. So if you can see the difference there, um, the bottom is much stretchier than that. And then of course, this is so close to needles, it's hard to tell, but uh, take my word for it, it is much more dense. You can really tell in the size of these stitches here. Um, so you see that, and then you can see it change, and then it changes again. So again, he's four. My sister-in-law told me that uh, the heavier blanket, the better. It's going to be a twin size for his new big boy bed. And I don't know. I think I like the 13 if it were for me, but I'm thinking of going with the 11. Anyway, if you guys have any feedback on that, if you've swatched, if you've tried out the pattern with worst weight, um, I would love to hear what needle sides you used. I, I didn't find any projects in the notes for worsted or anything like that. So. Anyways, I'm going to go get some coffee and knit this up. I'm home. It was actually a pretty good day at work today. Um, first time ever. And I've been there, this is my ninth Christmas. Um, our work got us hams and pies. And so I got to spend a bunch of time delivering those today, which was actually really fun. And yeah, that took a long time today. Um, so I heard back from my sister-in-law uh, about this. She said she thinks the larger needles, so the US 13, so. That's what I'm going to be doing as soon as it gets here in the mail. Well, I don't know if I'm going to cast it on immediately, but um, that's going to be on my needles soon. I really wasn't trying to start anything new in the new year, but um, yeah, I need to get that done. Uh, another thing I'm going to try and do tonight after I get my square finished is I'm going to attempt to make some ornaments like this. I don't know that it's going to come out, but we'll see. I don't have directions or anything, it's just something I found on um, Pinterest or on the internet or something, so we'll give it a shot. If it turns out, I'll show you what they look like if they don't forget I said anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, right now I'm going to go get changed and um, work on my square first and then ornaments. Also, I have some footage that I took of some elk in the area, which are really cool. 
Um, I don't know about other states or even other cities really, but we get a ton of elk around here, um, which is, it's really neat to just see them all gathered together. But I'll put that in here so you can see it in case you've never seen an elk before. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. There it is, square number 64, a red tonal by Diabolical. And that squares it off. It's eight by eight now. It's ginormous. It's hanging off the table too. I'll show you the whole thing in just a second here. So there it is in the middle of my kitchen floor. Cody, no, 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 hey, hey. We just had a discussion before I turned on the video. I said, don't even think about it. And clearly he did not heed that warning. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I really like it when I can see it sort of from afar um, and take the whole thing in rather than just one square at a time. It looks really great and I'm so excited to keep going with it. So the ornaments didn't work at all. Um, I didn't realize that I needed wire and all I had, I actually bought embroidery floss for like cross stitch because I thought that was going to work and it didn't. Uh, what I do have is a pile of buttons that goes on for days. So yeah, that project isn't going to happen this year, but maybe next year. And for now I'm going to put my buttons away and uh, then I'm going to show you a spoiler for the frozen mystery shawl. I haven't showed one in a while. So um, I'll be right back with you and if you don't want to watch the spoiler then I will say goodbye to you now and thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow and if you do want to see it then stick around. All right so frozen mystery spoiler. I think I am if I'm not halfway done with Pluto I'm close to halfway done. So there is what it's looking like, and it is bunched up on the needles. I'll try and smooth out part of it so you can see. And the section that I've added is in my color B, which I'm forgetting what it's called. I think it's Plymouth Yarns Happy Feet 100 Splash. We'll see, I have the tag right here. Oh yes, I think I'm correct. Yep. There it is, and it's in the color blueberry. So this yarn I think is really pretty in the cake, but it looks way prettier. And I know this video is not doing it justice because I have this weird overhead light and the lights behind me and stuff, but it, it's white with blue speckles and purple and pink, and there's a little bit of green, and the speckling is just so pretty. And on top of that, this is seed stitch, and I've never done seed stitch before. It's a little fiddly because uh, it's kind of like one by one rib, except for it alternates every row. And so you're, you're switching your stitch every single time, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. But um, I don't particularly mind the process, but I love the result. Uh, I love the way it feels, I love the way it looks. So I'm really excited. Um, I can't remember the name of the shawl that uh, Glenn bought me yarn and the pattern for. Uh, it's in a previous podcast episode. You'll see it again if you keep watching because I am going to work on it eventually. Um, but anyway, it's all seed stitch. And now that I know how much I like the way it looks and it feels, I'm really excited. So I finished the very last row of this color. I have to join the darker color next and finish it off. And clue three is already out. So I'm way behind, but it doesn't have to be done done until February. So I'm really enjoying knitting it up. And I think I will have time to do a row or two on it tonight. So guys, I'm going to say goodnight for now and talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and checking me out. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.